Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, the weather here has just been, yeah. It's wet and cold and unfortunately I'm tagged out. So deer season's kind of on hold for a second. Uh, in Texas, you have X amount of buck tags and doe tags. Doe season ended here in my county, November 17th. So wasn't able to harvest a doe, but I have taken my two bucks for the county that I hunt. So I'm tagged out there. So that kind of leaves me in a little bit of a lull for right now. I've got some stuff in the works where I'll be able to hopefully get in on a county where I can hunt the extended doe and spike season this year. So with me being in this lull, I figured it'd be a perfect time to start getting into the components of an automated hog trap and what all it entails. So in this video, I'm actually going to be wiring it together. Now this is just the temporary setup. This is not permanent. I'm working on getting to the permanent stage, but I have to wait for the landowner to finish deer season before I can even go out and set up the trap and start trapping again. So for now, I'm going to show you what it takes to wire it, what products I'm using, and how I did it. And then in another video, I will show you the fabrication of what I'll be using to use in the field as far as what boxes and how it all goes together. And then also showing you my gate design and setting up the trap. So anyways, let's jump in and take a look and see how this goes. up this is our on and off switch like I showed you before and I have that solenoid wired in so round two all right everything's looking good and if you're wondering I did print a diagram I actually took a screenshot off of a video I saw and started following this after the last one as I tested I actually fried the GSM unit so Decided to go ahead and have a diagram ready, just in case. So next we're gonna need to get this guy wired in. So go ahead and take out everything, get it opened up. see I've already hooked up some things I've added in the sim card up here and all I've done is hook up the antenna but two parts that we're gonna be worrying about are your power and ground here and then your com number two here so so according to that diagram these are gonna connect over to this solenoid so I'll have to run power and ground here
All right, well, everything is wired and complete, so it is fully operational. It looks like a bunch of wires and a huge mess right here, but that's okay. This is only a trial run. It's not permanent. So what's going to happen? This is going to send power over to solenoid one and then over to solenoid two. This battery is going to power the GSM board. The GSM board is going to tell this guy to open the circuit. Once it opens the circuit, then it'll enable this to pull down. It should stall for a second and then it'll close the circuit. So let's go ahead and get this set. Now let's go ahead and make a call to it so we can see it in action. So there you have it. With one phone call, this will trigger the push pull solenoid will pull down, release here like it did, and it will release whatever I have in here running to the trap door. So that's phase one complete. I am gonna have to clean up the wiring a little bit. This is driving me nuts as it is, but everything is functional. So we can get on to phase two, which will be getting this into my shop and we will be working on getting the trap door finalized and whatever modifications need to be made to it will be done too. All right guys, well you got to see everything working. It's hooked up and I make a call, it does what it should do, which in my book, I'm gonna call that good. So what I'll be working on next is getting the door for the gate fabricated I plan on using three quarter inch plywood, but I want to reinforce it with something else. And the gate itself, the frame for it, I actually used a old bed frame. I just kind of pieced it together to where it made sense for a trap for me. So that's gonna be the next part. I've got a couple of things in the works for getting all my stuff back out to my shop. I have a rather large trailer blocking the way right this second and I've got to tow it back and get it back to the owner so that way I can get my trailer back here with all my stuff get my shop set up then I'll be able to come out work on things when I want as I want and honestly it'll be great because I'll have lights in there and doesn't matter what time of day it is I can go out there and do what I need to do and everything's insulated so it's not going to be real noisy so that works out great that's all I've got for you this week, and I will catch you on next week's episode.